So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to download and visualize a normalized difference water index using Landsat 8 image. So to download and visualize our normalized difference water index using Landsat 8 first we have to import our Landsat 8 image into earth engine. So to import our Landsat 8 image into earth engine we defined a variable called L8 equals to double e dot image collection Landsat collection 8 collection 1 tire top of the atmosphere. So this specific variable will uh, insert our Landsat 8 image into earth engine. So next we have to get a least cloud contaminated image. So to get a least uh, cloud contaminated image we defined a variable called image 2020. Image 2020 equals to double e dot image. So we are filter with the filtering with the specific uh, so we are filtering with the specific study region. So using our point data so you can able to see visualize in this section. So we have a variable called point. So we have uh, insert a point data into our study region. So now let me show you that. So you can see uh, visualize in this section we have imported a point data into our study region to import our uh, Landsat 8 image based on this point data. So now let me uh, remove this point and show you how to place a point in uh, earth engine. So now let me delete this point. So now I have deleted the point data. So now let me place a point on my study region. Let me click this uh, option called add a place marker. Now place your uh, point data that is your place marker in your study region. So now I have placed my uh, point data on my uh, on the study region. So you can clearly able to visualize in this section we have a variable called geometry and representing a point data with a latitude and longitude. So now let me change the name of this variable. Let me uh, change it to a point. So now I have changed the name to a point variable called point. So we have this point to this variable point represent this uh, place marker that is placed on our study region. So next based on our uh, study region that is based on our point data we are filtering with our uh, so based on point data we are filtering our study region. So using the point data to point out our study region. So next so next we have to filter with a specific time. So uh, in order to acquire the image from that particular timeline. We are using this specific code called dot filter date. So we are specifying the time for that 2020 January 1 to 2020 December 31st. Next we are sorting with the least cloud contaminated image between this uh, uh, particular timeline. So to get a image with the least cloud contaminated we are using this specific code called dot sort cloud cover. And next we are using a function called dot, uh, dot first function. So first function function will usually represents a image with a least cloud contaminated image. So for that to uh, in order to acquire the image with the less cloud contaminated image we are using this function called dot first function. And next we are closing. So now to compute our uh, to perform the normalized difference water index we have used this uh, variable called b3. So b3 here refers to ban3 in Landsat 8 image equals to image dot 2020. So image dot 2020 refers to this variable we are referring to our Landsat 8 image and dot select band 3. We are specifically selecting band 3 from our Landsat 8 image. And next we have defined a variable called b5 equals to image 2020 dot select b5. So b5 here represents band 5 in Landsat 8 image. So next we have to perform our uh, normalized difference water index. Now let me show you the formula for the normalized difference water index. So here the ND, uh, NDWI that is normalized difference water index equals to green minus NIR divided by green plus NIR. So green here represents band 3 in Landsat 8 image and NIR represents band 5 in Landsat image. So band 3 minus band 5 divided by band 3 plus band 5. So this particular uh, algorithm will highlight over all the water bodies present in the study region. So like this one it will highlight all the water bodies are present in this study region. So NDWI is used to so now let me explain about NDWI. So NDWI is uh, used to monitor change related to water content in water bodies. As a water body strongly absorbs light and visible to infrared electromagnetic spectrum the NDWI uses green and near infrared bands to highlight the water bodies. It is sensitive to build up lands and can result in overestimation of water bodies. So now I have shown you the formula for NDWI that is normalized difference water index band 3 minus band 5 divided by band 3 plus band 5. So now let me get back to our earth engine 
So now to perform our uh, NDWY, we defined a variable called NDWY 2020 equals to band 3 dot subtract band 5 dot divide band 3 and add band 5. So this specific uh, represents uh, band 3 minus band 5 divided by band 3 plus band 5. So dot rename, we are renaming this specific uh, variable to ND, NDWY 2020, uh, 2022. We are replacing the name as NDWY, that is normalized difference water index. So next to display our result, so display our result we are using, uh, so to center our layer we generally use this specific line of code. So for that center of a layer we use map dot center object image 2020 with a zoom level of 9. So we are referring image 2020, this particular variable. So next we have, have we have to set up a visualization parameter for our uh, so next we have to set a visualization parameter for our ndwy image for that we defined a variable called nd we are specifying a variable called ndwy that is normalized difference water index param here refers to visualization parameter equals to we set a minimum value of minus 1 to plus 1 so the ndwy generally the value value varies from minus 1 to plus 1 so we're setting a minimum value of minus one and to a maximum value of one. And color palettes we are using a red, yellow, and green. So red indicates the. So here the red indicates our uh, vegetation and the green indicates our water body. So next we have to define a visualization for our Landsat 8 image. So to define a visualization for our Landsat 8 image, we define a variable called this param true equals to bands band four, band three, and band two. So band 4, band 3 and band 2 represents the true color composite for Lancer 8 image with a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 3000 and we are setting a gamma value around 1.4. So finally to add this layer into earth engine we have defined map.add layer ndwy 2020 and here the ndwy param represents of a ndwi visualization parameter so represent this variable and output the layer name as ndwy normalized difference water index for 2020 so next we are adding another layer for landsat 8 image so we are adding a landsat 8 image so for that we define map dot add layer image 2020 visualization parameter true so this specific variable refers to this variable so we output the layer name as landsat 8 image with the true color composite and last to export that is to download this uh, image or to export to your google drive if you have to define this specific lines of code that is export dot image dot to drive and we are saying that image in dwy 2020 so we are saying this particular image to export so for it refers to this variable in dwy 2020 so dot in 16 and description is we are giving a description like normalized difference water in may uh, water in so we define the description as in dwy image 2020 and next the spatial resolution is around 30 meters so Landsat 8 image has a spatial resolution of 30 meters. So for that we are indicated as 30. And region here refers to our point data. So we are using the point data to import our Landsat 8 image on our study region. So we are indicating our point data and setting our max pixel value around 1 is to 10 power 13. So now let us run this code and uh, let us visualize the result. So go to the option called run script and click run script. Let me click run. So now we have uh, two different layers. So one layer is representing our Landsat 8 image and second layer represents our NDWI image. So now let me go, go to this option called this setting option and let me choose the custom option. Let me stretch to Sigma and apply it. So now let us visualize a true color composite of our study region of Landsat 8 image. So we have two different layers. So here the one layer represents Landsat 8 image of uh, 2020 and NDD, NDWY image that is normalized difference water index in major 2020. So let me show you that. So we have two different files has been inserted into the specific study region. So here let us visualize here. Let me click this option called satellite imagery. So now let us visualize our study region more clearly. So we have three different sheets has been identified in NDWY image. So let us visualize that. So here the red represents. Uh, uh, let us visualize that. Let me turn this layer on. So you can clearly able to view in this section, we have a water body that is located in this part of the region. So, so you can say able to visualize that in NDWY has clearly highlighted about water bodies in this specific study region.
So this is a water body, you can clearly visualize it. So let me turn this Landsat 8 image off. So you can visualize the water has been indicated in this color. The green color is indicates the water body. So we have several water bodies has been located in this particular image. So this is another water body and this is the river in this study region which is clearly indicated in our image, image of our NDWI as well as our Landsat 8 image. So it is clearly showing the water bodies has been present in this region and the water body is flowing towards towards this direction, towards east. And let me visualize the other portion of our NDWI. So let me turn this layer off. So you can see uh, several other colors being highlighted. So in this color we have a green, yellow and red. So there is three different colors. So green represents our water body. Let us visualize red color. Let me turn this Landsat 8 image. So we can uh, visualize it. The red color here represents our vegetation. So vegetation has been uh, highlighted using in the that is represented in red color. Let us visualize it. So the red vegetation has been uh, highlighted in red color. Let us visualize what the yellow color here represents. So the, here the yellow color represents a barren land. So you can clearly able to visualize in this part of the region. So here this is our NDVI image. So now Landsat 8 image will be loaded. So here you can able to see there is absence of complete absence of vegetation in this part of the study region which is uh, indicated as a yellow color. So three different colors has been identified. So here the water has been highlighted in green color indicates our water body and the red here indicates our vegetation and the yellow represents our barren land. So now to export this image to, uh, to your Google Drive so we have to go to the option called task section. So now let us go to the option called task section click this option. So you have uh, you can able to visualize here we have an unsubmitted task called NDWI image 2020. So now to export this image to your Google Drive, all you have to do is click this option called Run. So I'll click this option. So a uh, window has been popped up, Initiate an Image Export. So task name is NDWI Image 2020. We have a spatial resolution, spatial resolution and this is the coordinate reference system and the file name. So it is in GeoTIFF file format. So to export to your Google Drive, all you have to do is click this option called Run. So I click this option. So here in this part of the task section you can clearly able to visualize the export process, process has been started. So we have to wait for some time to export this image to our Google Drive. So in this way you can able to uh, download uh, the ND, NDWI image for any part of the world and you can download that particular image to your uh, Google Drive. So now in the task section has been clearly indicated our NDWI image has been exported to our Google Drive. So all you have to do is click this option called open in drive and uh, from, from the drive we can able to download that image and visualize it. So in this video I have shown you how to download and visualize an NDWI image using Landsat 8 image. And the quotes will be included in the description section. And thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.